one secret lie single women will tell men that they want. You do not care about me, so you do not love me. I know you know, when she says that, she means it. Now that you have that sense, and then you start trying to prove your point that you really love her, then it is a confirmation that you do not love her. You have to understand her feminine energy and you have to always initiate the masculine energy you lead, right? She follows you, right? So does it mean that when she communicates that you do not care about her, even when it's not true, then you should change to allow her to see the love you have for her. Then you are the guy who will be dumped. I want you to understand the feminine energy of a man. Her feminine energy is made up of her thoughts about you, her feelings about you, and the emotions you give her about you. It's not about how she cares and how she loves, how she wants you to care and how she wants you to love. It's more of, I have these thoughts in me. That is why I feel this way towards you. The thoughts can be true and what she is communicating to you might be true. That is what she is thinking about. But what feelings and emotions is she getting from those thoughts. If I think about Isaac not caring about me, it is true because that is how I see it. But what will determine if I have to stay with Isaac depends with the feelings and the emotions that I will exude get from that thought and that perception that I have towards Isaac. Let me give you something that will make sense to you. Now, today, it might rain. I want you to give me one of your thoughts about me thinking that it's going to rain. You are going to guess, but you do not know. The second thing is, there is a probability that you will take it in a negative way because that is how we are automatically wired. Let me give you my thoughts about the climate. It seems like it will rain. They are doing a construction. The rain will prevent the dust from affecting us. But the moment I told you that I think it will rain, some of you thought it in a negative way because I said things in a certain way. And then the results of the emotions has to be that manner. But I am saying in that manner so that you can also see it negatively so that I can understand how you really value yourself and how you are willing to go further, prove your point of how much you really care and you really love me. And a man who knows that he loves me and he doesn't need to prove his point, that is the guy I will consistently be choosing. Now that she is in the face of selecting men, I have Isaac, I have Johnny, I have Solomon, I have you name them. But let me try to use the same words to these men and now understand among these three men, which one of them will fall sooner and try to prove to me that he really cares when Johnny will become the first guy who will fall his character and his behavior, I will put him in the friend zone. If Isaac tries to take me out on a date, it is a confirmation that he is doing this because he wants me to have a perception that he really cares. I put him in the backup plan. I am remaining with Solomon, but in case Solomon disappoints me, I can end up with who? Isaac. So when a woman tells you that, you don't really care about me. And then she is expressing her emotions to you and she wants you to understand her and maybe care about her. 
She doesn't know that she is using an internal game towards you. But how you will react, she will have a certain perception about you, Isaac. And that will be the determinant factor of either just maintaining you as the potential and the main guy, or I can decide to push you to the side and then introduce Johnny. That allows me to feel safe and be convinced that I am dating the right guy. When dealing with this lady, she only needs to get a sense and a feeling that you put yourself first. So trying to make her happy because she complained, it is a confirmation that you are putting her first. And I need to show love to Johnny before Johnny reciprocates back. I am using that to know how much do I need to invest in this relationship. And I can only see your masculine energy if I am also investing with the feminine energy. And what is the masculine energy? Imagine you've gone to see this lady and then maybe you have lust with her, you have pleasure with her, and then you decide to watch a movie. It's just Netflix and chill. Nothing serious, nothing more. She goes, mm. he doesn't care about me. He doesn't even care about our safety. Even when she misses you and she wants to be with you, maybe it's true because she thought about it. But it's not a genuine confirmation that she wants you to be there 24 7. The moment you try to Netflix and chill, you have popcorns with this lady, she goes, mm, I don't feel safe in this relationship. He needs to leave and go to work. It doesn't matter if you will go to work or not, but she has a different perception about your existence after having sex with her. Why does it he leave? He just got what he wanted. That is why she will Netflix and chill with you for two years, for six months, but she will marry a different guy who is always busy. But when he wants sex, he will go back to her. And I know you will say, that is toxic. And I can't marry a woman who just wants me to be there for pleasure. I mean, when a woman is trying to select a man, she is trying to use a perception of safety and survival. That is why she will be trying hard, but again, her energy is somehow off. She is slowly analyzing Isaac as the guy who can be a good bet for having fun, but not a good guy for a potential partner. That is why when you care more about a woman's emotions and how she is affected, then her feelings affects you. And when her feelings affect you, then you are attached to her. When you are attached to her, it is a confirmation that you are not capable and you can't be a potential partner. She might have it in the wrong way, but that is how she will understand you when you care about her emotions and you want to make her feel good about a certain situation. She creates situations to allow Isaac see it in that perception for her to understand, is he attached to me? Mm, he is. No, he's not capable. He can't be my potential partner. And now slowly, she tries to adjust everything and then shows you that she's not interested in you and she wants to exit. My feelings are affecting you according to how you are reacting towards my emotions. Baby, are you okay? Do you need any help? Can I do anything for you? She wants you to see and realize her emotions, but again, just go to work. She doesn't want you to change anything, to prove anything to her. 